what's going on virgo hey this is renee and welcome back this is your reading virgo and this is a timeless reading so we're going to do a little uh something a little different we're going to take a look at everything romance right we're going to take a look at your love life and dive in so um let's go ahead and get some energy for you and Virgo, if this resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you at this time, make sure to take a look at your other placements. I have those in a playlist. And let's get into it. Okay. Messages for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo in romance? What do we have in, for Virgo in romance? So many cards want to jump out. Let's see. Messages for Virgo. Okay. We have... Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay? So don't feel the need to have to control the situation because I feel like your situation is evolving naturally. There's no need to kind of push it forward because it's going to do that on its own. Right? And we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens okay so i feel like you know you if you haven't met this person already i feel like you know when you meet this person there's already kind of this comfort level that's coming in and you're gonna feel like so comfortable to sit there and talk to this person to tell them you know your dreams your wants your you know the the things that you kind of view in your mind's eye and I feel like you're sharing these deep feelings with this person and maybe it feels so right that you want this thing to grow very quickly but don't try to push Virgo it's going to happen on its own because Virgo you are irresistible and this person is going to find you very irresistible right so we also have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so there may be some kind of help that you're needing in this situation or in another situation but i feel like there's very helpful people around you who are willing to lend a hand okay so let's go ahead and get some more messages for virgo get some more energy for virgo please what's going on in virgo's love life everything romance See this one we have moon cycles so Archangel Haniel notice how the moon affects your energy in the manifestations and capital capitalize upon these cycles so I feel like something very surprising is going to happen before the next moon cycle and or during the next moon cycle and I feel like spirit is letting you know to really notice how your body reacts, how your emotions react. You know, what is it that you're releasing? What is it that you're manifesting during this time? Now, if you're not releasing or manifesting during these moon cycles, it's very important that you start. Because during moon cycles is the best time to put your intentions out there for what the universe is about to deliver to you. Okay, so be very precise and descriptive when it comes to things that you want or desire in your life. Okay, so we also have victory. Archangel Sandophon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So, yes, yeah, see, there's that intention I was talking about. You know, some kind of intention that you've already put out there. The angels are letting you know that during this moon cycle, during this next moon cycle, your answers are going to be um, delivered to you. Your answers are there. You know, have faith in your situation. Follow the guidance of, you know, the universe, of your higher power, whatever it is that you believe in. And, you know, that desire is going to be delivered. Okay, so we also have all as well. Archangel Jeremel. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Those are the blessings that we're talking about. That's the victory. 
you know so that's very beautiful virgo there's a lot of good things coming to you that you may not be aware of but i feel like you know things will be revealed to you they will be exposed okay let's go ahead and get some more energy for virgo let's get some more energy for virgo please what do we have everything romance everything romance please okay yeah we have peace so you're able to get peace of mind, find peace, find calm, find that tranquil, that tranquil place. You know, the number 23 may be very significant for you. Also, the number five may be very significant. You may be going through some kind of challenges at the moment, but I feel like there's great change that's coming ahead. There's a lot of changes coming forward for you. We also have TikTok, the number 30. So the number three, what did I say? The number three can also be very significant. Um, that's also change, a unity, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, with this clock here, I feel like you may feel like time is ticking, like something is about to happen, like you're waiting for something, okay? You may be waiting for something to happen that is going to be more calming to your spirit, be more calming to your soul in this person that you're looking for, okay? But I feel like, you know, what you may be expecting may be very different than what's delivered. I feel like you're not expecting what's coming, I feel like what's coming is much better than you can expect. Okay? So let's get some love oracles for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? Give me a message for love. What's going on in Virgo's love life, please? All about romance. Coffee cup. So you may be meeting and conversing with people. You may be dating. You may be actively socializing or hanging out with friends um going to dinner with people but I, I feel like you're getting out there you're really enjoying your life enjoying you know your atmosphere at this moment we have a girl with a snake so i feel like there's there may be a need for you to set your boundaries because while you're socializing i feel like not everybody is going to have the best intentions i feel like you're going to come across some real jerks right this could be male or female it doesn't matter but i feel like you know there's some people that you're going to come across that you just like uh <laughs> you know like get the hell away from me i don't have time for you and I feel like you're kind of removing the, those people from your energy. You're like, you don't have any time for that kind of mess, right? And we also have time with friends moving on, happily single and living in the moment, just having fun. So I, I feel like, you know, you, you're out to really live life. You're out to have fun, to see what life has to offer. And I feel like you are spending a lot of time with friends. You know, um, and I feel like I feel like you you understand that love isn't going to come just because you want it. Love is going to come when you least expect it. OK, so I feel like, you, you know, while you're waiting, you're out here having fun. You're not waiting on anybody. You're just seeing what life has to offer and you're having fun doing it. So this beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and get some romance tarot see what this has to say now that message is not going to resonate with everybody but it, it it's actually um spoken for someone okay so take it how it resonates okay let's get some romance tarot for virgo let's get some romance tarot we have the guardian of abundance Okay, we have the messenger of emotion. We have the two of action. Okay, and the ace of emotion. Wow. At the bottom, we have the seven of, of abundance. The seven abundance. I can't even talk today. I'm sorry, Virgo. 
please look over me. Okay, we have the seven of abundance. Have patience, right? Sometimes dreams grow slowly. Don't worry. The hard work you've invested will bring about a bountiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. Okay, so Spirit is letting you know when it starts to happen, it's going to happen. And when it starts to happen, it's going to start happening very fast. Like, okay, this is your time. This is when it's meant to happen. That Virgo's heart just opened and it's filled with love, right? And we do have the Ace of Emotion here. That's the Ace of Cups. We also have the Messenger of Emotion. That's the Page of Cups. So there's a definite offer from someone who's offering you their cup, right? So that's very interesting, Virgo. We have the Guardian of Abundance. The Guardian of Abundance is the King of Pentacles. This is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future and make sure to accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. Right. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming your way. There's a lot of success. OK, we also have the messenger of emotion. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could soon be on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle, loving, with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. So there's definitely some kind of offer coming forward for you. And I feel like you have a decision to make with this two of, two of action, two of wands. Okay, there's some kind of decision that you're making. There's some kind of planning that you're doing. Okay, trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you and you just need to continue to move forward. It may be time to take a new partner who can help you as a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Okay, so make sure to... Uh, set your intentions out there. Make sure to set your plans. Set what exactly you want. Because like I said, this moon cycle, this moon cycle is going to tell it all. Okay, big blessings are coming through during that next moon. So take notice, Virgo. Okay, and we have this intense offer of love. Okay, this Ace of Cups. This cherub is announcing a wonderful new emotional experience is coming into your life. You may meet someone new who makes your heart flutter or your current relationship will experience a reawakening. It also is possible that your intuitive abilities will be greatly increased by your open heart. Okay, so beautiful energy for you. Uh, Virgo, this beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Hmm. Let's take a look at the energies. Uh, what does someone want to say to Virgo? What messages do we have for Virgo? What messages for Virgo, please? What don't they know? Messages for Virgo. It was my fault. I blamed you. Okay, so I feel like there's some kind of situation. This energy is coming out for this person. Hmm, could be a past person. Or it could be someone that you're friends with. Some kind of situation. But they knew it was their fault, but they blamed you for it. And I feel like 
you know, this may be someone who's trying to manipulate you in some way. Um, but I feel like they're saying, you know, I'm becoming a better person because I'm around you. But I'm not sure if you want to be in that energy. Okay. I want to tell you how I feel. Okay. I lost myself for a while. I feel like this person is surrounded by confusion. Look at this. I love you. Yeah. This person is very infatuated with you. Whoever this is. Um, I feel like they're kind of lost in their emotions about you. They may be very infatuated, think about you a lot. But they feel like your influence on them is making them a better person. And they want to tell you exactly how they feel about you. But they may be holding back for a situation. Because they, they, they're saying, you know, I hide behind material things. So that may be this narcissistic um energy that's coming through that you know this person may seem like they have it all but they they actually don't they they're not well put together as they try to make themselves be and they're you know that they, they just see you as an asset they see you as someone who can help them you know put it together put the pieces together where they can't right so let's get some more messages from this person. Okay, they have hurt me. So I feel like this person has went through a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. You know, there may have been cheaters in the past. I can't promise you anything. So I feel like this person, they, they really don't want something, some kind of commitment. They, they're just looking to enjoy life. I wish to be like you. Yeah, this person thinks that you have it all together, that you have so much to offer, okay? I can't make a decision, and don't wait for me, please. Wow, okay. Hmm. I'm stuck in visions of us together. So yeah, th this person is really thinking about you. You're heavily on their mind. Um... I feel like this person's energy is really intense. Let's get some handmade messages. Maybe this will resonate more. Maybe this will give us more information. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Messages, please. Whoever this person is, they're very infatuated with you. They really feel like they love you. Like you are a very good influence on their life. Um, and they wish that they had it together like you do. They, they wish that they had your qualities, your insight, your capabilities. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of confusion here. I, I feel like this person... Feels like they don't want you to wait for them, but they want you to kind of um, let them come into your life. You know, it's kind of like a weird confusion here because I feel like this person wants you, but they don't want you to wait for them. It's very interesting. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me a message for Virgo. Give me a message for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to know about this reading? Give me a message for Virgo, please. We have experienced new things in life. <laughs> Someone feels so alone. Hmm. You have to let go so something better can come. You are limitless. Yeah, this person, you know, I feel like their emotions are all over the place. This could be more than one energy as well, okay? It's time to change the situation. We also have protect your energy. And the outcome will be positive. At the bottom, we have good luck. So I don't feel like this means that your luck is changing. I feel like this means good luck with this situation. Because I feel like this situation is all over the place, right? Um, I feel like this person really don't know exactly what they want. 
They really, they just know that they want you. They see something special in you, Virgo, and they want that. They want that in their life. They feel like you would be a very good influence on their life, that they would be very successful if you're with them, right? That they would do much better, you know, that they wouldn't be alone, that they would experience new things, you know, but they know that you deserve better, that you have the ability for something better to come. But I feel like this person doesn't want to give up. They don't want to let go of their energy, but at the same time, Spirit is letting you know to protect your energy because there's something about this person that's just not all together, right? And I feel like you have it going on, Virgo. You're limitless. So that's what's going to make this outcome be positive because there's going to be certain choices that you're making for yourself that you know are for your best interest. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a timeline for, for Virgo. When is this situation happening? When will this person come forward? For Virgo. When can Virgo expect this situation? Okay, sometime before February. Okay, so I feel like this person is going to keep going, keep going, keep going um, until around February or before February, right? Um, I feel like they're going to keep trying. They're going to keep um, trying to keep tabs on you. Um, let's get some tarot. What do we have for Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please. What messages do we have for Virgo? The Hermit. Soul searching. Spending time alone. We also have the Lovers. So there is love coming in here. Because you are so attractive. Wow. In the Chariot. At the bottom we have the, the Judgment. So definitely you're moving into this new place. This new um, aspect of your life. You're finding out your purpose. You're gaining more ground. You're moving out of your comfort zone and you're trying new things, right? Um, and I feel like with this hermit, I feel like, you know, you may need to start keeping things to yourself. Um, if you do have the tendency to talk to other people about certain situations, it may be time to, you know, start keeping things to yourself or start you know, really watching how you interact with people. But I do feel like there is someone coming through. There is this love coming through here for you. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is the this energy or not. I'm going to go ahead and clarify that for you. But I feel like you're very attractive at this time. People see you as very appealing, very nurturing, very caring. They also see you as very bold and a person that takes action you don't just sit down and wait for things to happen virgo you make things happen right and i feel like that's pushing you into your alignment that's keeping you moving in the right direction there's some there's some kind of success that's coming forward for you because the actions that you've taken okay so i feel like you're moving into this divine direction Okay. It could also mean that you're literally moving. You could be moving to a new home, a new apartment, you know, a new job. So it could mean that you are literally moving. But I feel like, you know, you're on the right path, Virgo. Just don't steer away from that path. Tell me more about this lover's card for Virgo. Give me more messages for this lover's card. Who is this? Who is this energy that will be coming in before February? Who is this energy? Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. Wow. And the Devil. Wow. Wow, it could be a Capricorn coming in. Uh, this is definitely Earth energy. Uh, so it could be a Capricorn that's coming in for you. Um, but I do feel like 
there's someone who may not be as confident as you are someone who lacks a lot of confidence who may be a different type than what you're used to it also may be someone who's dealing with a lot of new, a lot of negativity in their life at the moment but like i said it could be a capricorn that's coming through i do feel like this person is working on their situation that's more earth energy here so it could definitely be a capricorn um taurus or um Capricorn, Taurus, or... Man, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> and that hasn't happened today. But I just lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, Virgo. But I feel like this person is working on their situation. They're working on building up their confidence. They're working on building up their self-esteem. Because I feel like this person who's coming forward, I feel like they may be very attractive very caring, very honest and open, but I feel like there's things about them that they really want to work on that's kind of holding them back from the possibilities that they see themselves in, okay? But I feel like this person is working on the situation, and they kind of see you together. They see you building something beautiful, okay? So that's beautiful energy for you, Virgo. Um, let's go ahead and get some angel cards. Let's see what else we have for Virgo. Messages for Virgo, please. Messages for Virgo. Okay. See, we have the angels. Oh, four wanted to come out. Okay. We have the angels. So you have angel support. You have angel guidance. You have protection. So the angels are watching over you. They're watching over your life your you know your aura at this moment okay so you are protected we also have daydream so i feel like you know you may want to allow your mind to wander and also dream big because like i said this victory is coming right so i feel like the things that you dream about today may be your reality tomorrow those are the words that i'm getting so um, if you're going to daydream, dream big and be very descriptive. Let the universe put that out there. Let the universe know exactly what it is you desire and go very elaborate. You know, if you desire a house with a beautiful kitchen, just don't say, you know, I want a new house. No, you want a house with a beautiful kitchen with marble countertops and beautiful white cabinets. You want a house with, you know, this big um, country sink. And you know what I'm saying? Go, go into detail about what it is that you want. Be very specific. Okay. We also have the Moonstone mysteries and using your intuition i feel like your intuition may be very high at this moment especially with this um ace of ace of cups energy your tuition may be very heightened so make sure to follow your intuition your intuition is not going to steer you wrong we also have premonition so you may receive some kind of vision some kind of aspect some you may have this deja vu you know that Man, I feel like this has happened before. I feel like I've been in this situation before, you know? I, I feel like, you know, th this is prophecy. When you have those feelings, this is prophecy. This is something that was intended to happen. And maybe you've seen it in your mind's eye, or maybe it's something that you dreamed about. But it's something that you brought into fruition. It's something that you made true. Okay, because you know you haven't never lived that before, but you feel like, you know, I've been in this place before. I've, I've seen this before. You know, that's something that you dreamed about and brought to life. Okay, that is your manifestation. Okay, so take notice of those premonitions that you're receiving. Okay, because they're very important. They're giving you messages. Okay, so Virgo. Let's get an angel number for Virgo. Let's get an angel number. What do we have for Virgo, please? What does Virgo need to know? Okay, look at this. 333 potential. Okay, Virgo, your angel number. 333. I told you this number was important to you. Potential. 
Your chance to reach your highest potentials is here. Perseverance has gotten you where you are and you have been through so much. This guidance is here to show you that you are exactly where you need to be. And your affirmation, my potential is infinite. I use my strength as my ally to pursue my highest good. Okay, that is your angel number and your affirmation. So Virgo, I hope this finds you well. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. Also, maybe take a look at your significant others placements. They may give you more messages at this time, okay? And until your next reading, Virgo, many blessings to you. Love and light.